Hey everyone, we're back at CES. This is the first day we're at the convention center. And of course we had to stop at SVS as our first stop. I'm here with Gary, the president of SVS, as well as Nick, the VP of marketing. And there's some new products here. So we're gonna kind of walk us through and check out the new subwoofers and even the new soundbar. So let's start with the new subwoofer. I know a lot of our readers were kind of waiting to see if you guys were gonna announce something uh, at uh, CES. Can you kind of explain uh, some of the tech uh, details that we have for the uh, SVS 3000? Can I give you this, the president 30,000 foot view first? Of this Because the last two CESs, we did a surprise launch at each one. Yes. And now this CES is our most ambitious CES ever. We're doing two surprise launches. Because we have not, we've not announced, yeah. we have not announced 3000 revolution subwoofers until this minute. And you're our first press interview announcing 3000 revolution subwoofers and the first ever SVS soundbar, the 3000 revolution, excuse me, the, re, I'm, it's so new I don't even know what it's called, the revolution soundbar. Nick, anything I forgot here? No, I mean, we have a absolutely over the top jaw dropping demo system as well, featuring two of the ported PB 3000 revolution subwoofers, as well as our award winning ultra evolution speakers and in gorgeous 108 inch AWOL uh, micro LED display. So uh, the stream of people coming in has just been constant. And I think we're gonna make a lot of waves here at CES. Definitely, it's something I'm excited for. You know, we're standing right next to the new 3000 series. 3000 uh, Revolution. 3000 Revolution, sorry about that. <laughs> Nick, Eric, uh, can you give us some details on the actual, uh, the sealed and the ported actually? So the really big news story here is 3000 Revolution is bringing the Revolution technology platform, which started with our 17 Ultra Revolution, moved down to our 5000 Revolution. Those are our higher price ranges, so maybe not that shocking that we have that level of technology there. But now bringing it to what was the 3000 series price ranges, the level of technology here has never been seen anywhere near this price. And I'm really excited about all three models. This is the PB3000 Revolution 13 inch ported cabinet, uh, the SB3000 Revolution 13 inch driver sealed cabinet. And then this is really cool. This is our all new 3000 Micro Revolution. The 3000 Rev Micro, the original one, had dual active opposing eight inch drivers. This now has dual active opposing nine inch drivers. It's not only delicate, but it's a beast. So it's it's kind of, it's the best of both worlds. It's super musical and accurate, but also goes super deep and plays loud. It's really exciting for us. Nice, that's awesome. And Eric, I can throw in a couple details about advancements from the previous 3000 series. Yep. We still have the 13 inch drivers. We've actually nearly doubled the amount of amplifier output. So now we're using the same MOSFET amplifier platform, uh, but we've gone up to 1200 watts RMS and close to 5,000, uh, sorry, uh, 4,000 watts of peak power. So, uh, I mean, significantly more output than the previous series. The DSP is the same from our uh, flagship series 17 Ultra Revolution. So 200. 10, 10 times more processing power than the previous version. Than the model. previous nice. version, which is going to allow cool. us to add the Auto Room uh, EQ, the subwoofer okay. EQ as part of that as well. Um, it still has the app control as, as all the other versions do. And then we've got some other innovations that aren't present in the flagship series, like this edge wound split wind voice coil. And essentially we've taken the voice coil and wrapped the copper a little bit thicker on either ends, which gives you amazing linearity. And in those peak excursion moments that you're gonna probably hear through these walls, you're just getting massive, just perfectly pinpoint accurate bass with no distortion. These are the lowest distortion subwoofers we've ever made. Wow. I'm actually, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, go ahead. I'm actually pretty stunned with how well the PB3000 revolutions are acquitting themselves. This is 2 million square feet of exhibit space and it goes straight up to the sky, as you know. And to be able to pe pressurize that with the level of bass that we're experiencing in our home theater is pretty amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. And we'll check it out for sure. Now, I'm going to go back to you, Nick, on the Room EQ. I know a lot of our readers have been kind of waiting to see when it was going to come out. Can you guys have a, a release date for it yet? Can I, can I just say one thing? Yeah, I don't have many regrets in life, uh -huh. but I have one that EQ. I want to tell you about. <laughs> it's, the Room EQ is amazing, but we shouldn't have announced it until it was completely ready. SVS, we don't release things that are not ready for prime time. Um, it's this close. We will have it in the next few weeks. Um, and for anyone who was expecting it months ago, 
you have my deepest apologies and I regret it, but it will be worth the wait. That's it. Well, and that's what me and Nick were talking about a while ago was we rather wait and actually get a product that works instead of something that's really buggy. And it is a very complex system that you have to put together to get it right. You know, with the over the air updates and the algorithms that go into shaping base within a room. So we want it to be perfect. It will well, be perfect. One, one, of the things, one of the things we do, because we want you to be able to use your phone, is the app literally calibrates first your phone to the app before it calibrates the subwoofer. So it's actually two steps to make sure that the phone and your microphone, we know what it can do, and then we measure your subwoofer. So it was a very complex process to develop the app, but it's gonna be really fun for the user to use. That's awesome. I know I, myself, I can't wait, but I know a lot of our readers can't wait either. So I'm kind of looking well, over way here. to put it is they're sick of waiting. And, and well, we will have it for them. <laughs> no, no problem. And I'm also looking over here. There's another new product and I think a first for SVS, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. Yeah. So if you want to take a stroll, this is yeah, a new, definitely. Uh, SVS Revolution soundbar. And uh, yeah, this is a category defining product for us. We're super excited to have this coming out. You know, what we're trying to do here is essentially create a true home theater experience. You know, something where you're not comparing this to other sound bars. You're comparing this to a full multi-channel surround sound system, you know, and, and getting everything that you would expect in terms of that immersive experience. Exactly. And that's what this is all about. And we've got a ton of new technology that, you know, I think is a, is a first as far as uh, what's done in a soundbar. We actually have nine speakers within this soundbar, and I think Gary wants to well, I, well, I just want to say one thing. On, I think you did great. I just want to say one thing on this. You know, again, coming from the 30,000 foot level, yeah. no one asked me to develop a soundbar. You know, it's <laughs> like, what? why is SBS needed for a soundbar? And we had these conversations late at night. Smith, who's around here somewhere, our chief designer. Like, what if an S, if SBS did a soundbar, what, what gap is it filling? Yeah. And, and you know what? I evaluated over the past five years, maybe 30 soundbars, and they're all really disappointing. Yeah. Like, like they, it's like they're all like a little bit better than the TV sound. Yeah. And we wanted something that could actually compete with home theaters somewhere near their pri that price range of the sound bar, but still have the lifestyle kind of fun of, of a sound bar where you barely even notice it's there, but it's creating a full on home theater experience. When we we worked exhaustively to develop this sound bar, and um, it was a lot of work because as Nick is, was going to walk you through, how do you put the, the um, components and technologies needed for a full-on home theater experience into something like a soundbar? And, and SBS has a reputation, so you don't want to come out with a product that's just kind of eh. You think? <laughs> no, you think? Like, my think joke is, right. like, we wanted to create a soundbar for soundbar haters. Like, people who are like, I'll never own a soundbar. We want to make that person be like, oh, well, well that one I could own. Yeah. And that's sort of the joke that I've been saying. But, you know, what we've done here is you have, essentially have nine speakers within here. You have an LCR configuration okay. with a legit aluminum dome tweeter, as three. well as a mid-range three on each left three. side. Right. That's what aluminum I was dome yeah. tweeters in, nice. this, in the bar. Yep. And two in the uh, uh, wireless surround speaker. That's right. So each channel has its own tweeter and its own mid-range and its own bass driver. Okay. So that creates just a wonderful sound stage, very immersive. And of course, we are SBS, so we are going to bring a legitimate subwoofer, which I feel like a lot of sound bars, that's, that's one of the biggest lacking components. This is a true SBS subwoofer with a 12-inch driver, 600 watts of uh, continuous power, uh, over 2,000 watts of peak power. So this thing is going to thump. And it has been thumping out here quite a bit. We're competing with, you know, our own <laughs> demo system. In there, not so much, but yeah. it's been great. So, nice. and then it has, you know, the Dolby uh, Atmos virtualization, the voice enhancement as well. So you get those things that a lot of people look for as, as far as the dialogue clarity. Mm -hmm. um, these are prepared, fully wireless. They use our own proprietary multiband solution. So it, it'll find that bandwidth that's most, um, you know, secure and, and able to continue that signal and make sure there's no disruption. If you want to just use it as a soundbar, Plug it into the HDMI port of uh, uh, ARC port of your TV. Plug it into our HDMI port. Plug the, all the products into the wall, mm -hmm. and they they self connect, and you're good to go. But if you want to sign on to our Wi-Fi solution, you can optionally, and if you do that, you can stream via the soundbar in high res. So it's really really cool. That's awesome. But it's but it's it, it basically 
if the user wants to use all the technology that's in there for music streaming and stuff like that, they can. If they want it a more simple experience and just use it for the TV, they can totally do that. Now I know with soundbar sometimes it's you have to buy just the soundbar and then you need to buy the optional subwoofer and the speakers. Uh, is SVS coming with the is the soundbar coming yes. with the subwoofer? So we'll have two, two choices. It's the soundbar with the subwoofer. That's the basic system. Uh, it's not that basic. It sounds amazing. Or soundbar, subwoofer, and wireless surround speakers, all plug and play. And you buy it each one as a package. Nice. And you did say Dolby vir uh, virtualization, so no up firing speakers on the soundbar or the speakers, correct? That's correct. Yep. Okay. You know, it's really important why we chose Dolby virtualization. We do not believe in the idea that up firing speakers bounce off the ceiling and give somebody a full on surround sound experience. <laughs> Dolby, I've, I've been to their headquarters in San Francisco. They, the technologies they bring to the virtualization far surpasses as long as you have the processing power to do it. And this is natively 24-bit, 96 um, megahertz, uh, kilohertz um, processing. So we have the technology to do the full-on Dolby virtualization experience. It is amazing. I know, I'm excited. And uh, a release date for the, the soundbar. Lake Q2. Okay. Um, but you know, we're, uh, we're not done making uh, you know, advancements on it. We, we might still add some surprises, but you know, we're very excited. Lake Q2 is when we're targeting. So maybe some new features when it releases. <laughs> no maybe, no promises though. <laughs> well, awesome. Um, that's basically the new products that you guys have here at the show. Do you want to uh, walk around through the rest of the booth and kind of yeah, talk about everything else? The booth here okay. if you'd like. All right, so Nick, we're at the front of the booth now with uh, honestly one of the coolest things I've seen. You guys have this at every show, but it still amazes me every time. Yeah, this is our cutaway station. We've actually added another one, our new 3000 micro revolution. You know, this is really about just kind of showcasing what goes into some of these products. We're super proud of the engineering um, and how much uh, development goes in. And so, you know, by showing the insides, you know, I think people get a sense for just what makes all of these products tick. And at a show like CES, you know, where maybe audio is not the most exciting thing happening with all the AI and some of the other things that are uh, launching here, it just gives uh, some sort of throwback, you know, technology stories that people can see, you know what, that's a huge magnet moving a lot of air yeah. and creating these massive base waves. And, uh, you know, especially with the micro here, it's a newer product, you know, the sports cancellation design here, where the woofers are moving in and out in unison and creating just a completely sonically inert experience. You know, it's a cool way to showcase, you know, that driver configuration. So we just love to have the, these and you get a lot of people taking pictures, which in today's day and age, that uh, that helps sell the product. So Definitely. Nothing De wrong with that. Definitely. And our other <laughs> sort of mainstay that we'll always bring to every show because uh, this is probably the most popular selfie uh, location at the SVS booth, yeah. maybe at the entire show, is our subwoofer stacks. You know. A lot of people ask, well, why do you need so many subwoofers? You know, people have different rooms. They have different needs when it comes to low frequency uh, experiences. So, you know, we have the big PB17 Ultra for uh, people like you who just want that completely guttural, blow me away experience. And then if you have a smaller room, you can still get that experience, but just in a smaller package for a smaller room with our PB1000 Pro. And then obviously the whole sealed cabinet configuration as well. You know, a uh, more transient response more better musicality a little bit better accuracy and this creates conversations you know people will come over and be what's the difference between ported and sealed and it allows us to provide some education about you know why subwoofers are important to a system but also why ported and sealed are a little bit different and what people can expect exactly which is awesome because having a variety is massive because a lot of times you can't fit the big subwoofers as much as you want that output yeah. you can't fit the uh, big subwoofers in your room so having you know a, a smaller subwoofer that can still give you a decent amount of output is still better than nothing yeah and we know there are avs forum uh, folks out there who you know will take 10 of those pbs in a very small room if they could yes, and you know they're the gluttonous ones that we certainly love but uh you know again it just again showcases all the different form factors and uh and sizes so We'll take a little stroll around here and take a look at our speaker lineup. And uh, at this show, we've uh, we've highlighted our Ultra Evolution series, which I know uh, the folks at ABS Forum know pretty well. Um, so you see our Ultra Evolution uh, Elevation, that's our height effect speaker, center channel, our Nano, which is the uh, more compact bookshelf speaker, the Ultra Evolution bookshelf, and then the three floor standing speakers, Ultra Evolution Tower, Titan, and Pinnacle. And we're actually running uh, a pair of our Pinnacles, the center, uh, four height channels in our demo room, which uh, I think I hear some sinners going on. Maybe we take a walk over there and. Uh... Yeah, definitely. Let's check it out.
By the way, we reviewed the Titan and it sounded amazing. So check out that review if you haven't already. So I mentioned the Ultra Revolution Pinnacles. We have a pair of our PB3000 Revolutions, which are doing a pretty damn good job pressurizing this spot. We have no roof on our booth either. So it's just echoing out here and drawing people in. Uh, and then we've actually partnered with a company called AWOL to feature a 108 inch micro LED display too, which is pretty cool as well. So it uh, looks like the room just cleared out so you guys can get a look inside there. Let's check it out. So we just got back from the demo. We heard the dual SVS, the ported uh, 3000 Revolution series, and they sound amazing. Nick, I'd like to award you with an AVS4 and Best of CES for 2026. I am so grateful for this. I know you guys are the authority when it comes to this kind of thing. So to get this accolade means a lot to us and we'll display it proudly here at CES. Well deserved, thank you. <laughs> so SVS was kind enough to give us a demo of the Hans Zimmer Live in Prague, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. And the subwoofer sounds great, especially for the size. And even the detail coming out of the soundbar. I know we're still on the showroom floor, but I'm, I'm really impressed. I think this is going to be one to watch out for. And I'd like to award you an AVS Forum Best of CES for 2026 on the soundbar. Well, I am absolutely thrilled. This is our first award of what I believe will be many for this uh, product. And uh, we could not be more proud. So thank you so much. Uh, our pleasure. Thank you, Nick.